we are a vital part of Animalia Plantae and Fungi Life, the Bergen County Academies, a dedicated group of detectives and lawyers working to figure out the truth. These are their stories. Ourselves in jail. Have no fear, cause we are here finding the truth so you will know the truth. I would, I would like to call Mr. Alfredo Nucleus to the stand. Mr. Lu Nucleus, you are responsible for distributing RNA throughout the cell, are you not? That is correct. And how exactly do you distribute the RNA throughout the cell? The organelles come to me and I give them the RNA. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, please note your attention to Exhibit A. Mr. Nucleus, what is this surface? How do you explain these little holes? And what is its purpose? It's just my outer surface. Uh huh. Or, is it for the purpose of distributing RNA through a double membrane to the rest of the organelles? According to Mr. Ribosome's statement, he testified that he has never approached you directly for RNA, directly contradicting your story. In fact, he said that he was made in your nucleus. Nu Nucleolus, and then was shipped out through your nuclear pores, which is found, of course, in the nuclear envelope, also known as the duffel membrane. How do you explain this? No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Nicholas, are you aware of what chromosomes are? Yes, they're condensed structures made of DNA and protein. Do you have any right now? No, I do not. And are chromatin and chromosomes equivalent and interchangeable? No, they're both forms of DNA that I store, but they're not equivalent. D chromatin is just the way I store my DNA. Chromosomes are condensed when I'm reproducing. And right now, I am clearly not reproducing. There you go, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. As you can see, Mr. Nucleus is not reproducing. He does not have chromosomes at the time, but rather chromatin, which are not equivalent or interchangeable. Moving on. You're being charged with illegal affiliations with prokaryotic cells. These affiliations are completely false. Thank you. Uh, defense calls Mrs. Prokaryo to the stand. Mrs. Prokaryo, do you recognize Mr. Nucleus? No, I've never seen him. And are you surprised you've never seen him before? Not at all. We don't even contain our DNA. We don't even we don't contain our DNA in the same fashion. And why is that? I'm a simpler cell. I don't, I don't need the likes of Mr. Nucleus to contain my DNA. I, don't, I only need nucleus. Thank you. Let the record show that Ms. Carrio does not recognize or is not affiliated with Mr. Nucleus in any way. Defense stands down. All rise. On the charge of having double membrane, <coughs> But nuclear pore, how do you find the defendant? Guilty! Guilty. On the charge of having, on the charge of passing chromosome, how do you find the defendant? Innocent! Innocent. On the charge of having a affili legal affiliation with prokaryotic cell, how do you find the defendant? Innocent! Innocent. 
Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, thank you for your time. Now the court is dismissed.